Beautiful sweet cherries. We drink orange juice with three ice cubes. We are still grinding along the Bitcoin range. We've got some juicy information to go through today. I'd like to ask you this question. Do you think we have gotten the weak hands out? Did we get enough weaklings out so that we can rally in the crypto bull market? Because, I mean, we can just enjoy this cute little goat right now just jumping around. They're so cute and fluffy running around. Look at these, just bumps his partner up. I'd like to ask you this because if we can figure out have we gotten enough weak hands out, then we go up. You see, if you're always looking at the market, you can always draw a line going down. That's why I like to use the super trend, just to give me an unbiased view. Trust me, at the bottoms, there's always weak people. Always. Everybody is mentally weak. I promise you that. You never, ever get to a point on the lows where everyone says, oh my gosh, we are all super strong. We are all motivated. You never get that. So you have to look for different signs. It's not about the people in the system. It's about the people selling. That's what it's about. A bear market ends when you run out of sellers. That's when the bear market ends. We still have Mt. Gox. We have the government selling all the Bitcoin. We have those. But that could still mean that Bitcoin grinds up towards the Bitcoin halvening zone where we expect between 35 and 50K, somewhere there. It just won't mean that we get full-on euphoric extreme moves going up. And I'll be honest, we don't even know if we're ever going to get that again because we're now in the fourth cycle. You know, everybody sees dollar signs in crypto. Everyone, they're here. Oh, I'm here to make money, here to make money. You know, just, I don't like the idea of that. You need more people to be in it for the tech. Unfortunately, we've learned too much now. People have, they have too many nightmares of waking up, not taking profit, they know everybody's a charlatan. Like, think think of all the main characters that have just been absolutely destroyed. There's going to be new main characters coming, but basically we're running out of people. The people that are coming, they're going to be taking less and less risk because we've learned too much. You know, in the comments section to my cute little goat charging um, video or so, we have Mr. Chili saying, Mr. Chili saying we're not even close to getting out the weaklings. You know, everybody's saying, not yet, not yet. Here's CL. One leg down, one leg down. Here's Mr. Coco. We're not clear of bearish September yet. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look at this, friends. Look at this. My opinion, last big flush right after halving. You see, so I am in a an advantage position because you can just see this. Look, I'm reading this out to you right now. I'm reading. Look at this. I hope so, but I think there is more room to go down. Look at this. This is hexagons. We're down 99% in the hex ecosystem, and people are still saying one last leg down. Look at that. You know, look at this. Look at this. That's the strangest looking bull I've ever seen. You see what I mean? Like everybody is, everybody just thinks, okay, one more leg down, another big leg down. Everybody's stacked on the same side. So that's why I want you to think about this. Why do I, why do I say this to you? I said, well, if everybody thinks there's one last leg down, that means on average, the weak hands aren't allocated. People have not put in anywhere close to more than they can afford. They haven't gone leveraged. They haven't gone and done anything silly. So they're not in yet. We've basically, we've been cleansed. We have been cleansed. It's going to be interesting to see what the comments are going to be like when Bitcoin, say, goes up to 40K. Everyone's going to be talking about something different now. And I want to bring this to your attention. I thought this was very fascinating news. I always, I keep mental notes. I record observations in crypto just because you never know. You never know when you're going to need them again. Crypto airdrops, a lot of people have made a lot of money on crypto airdrops in the past. I think that's going to change. I think airdrops are going to go away. They are not effective. They are a waste of money. You are rewarding people to literally click the sell button and dump. Uh, so, you know, people always wondered, you know, this is this is this always just tilts me a bit when people say, oh, there's so much free money in airdrops. Oh my gosh. Do you want to know how actually people make money in airdrops, by the way? Not the farming. You get money in airdrops. Why? A VC. Okay, look at this. A VC. So literally a vulture capital. There's there's like there's a project here, okay? And the VC is part of on the list, you know? And here's, every, here's the founder, okay? So all the group and the founder. The VCs, they give ICO money, basically, right? They give money. Let's say they give like $10 million. And what they'll do is 
it will then sit in the liquidity pool. So this is the bid. This is the Uniswap liquidity pool, okay? Uniswap liquidity. Uniswap liquidity. Let's just write USDC. It sits there on the launch. And what happens is now you have all the airdroppers, A. They get the coins. What they do is they come in. They go, hey, I'm going to dump the coin and just take the VCs USDC out of the pool. No one puts money in. No one. We, we've tried the experiment now. That, that's that's how everybody makes money. You know, everyone says, oh, my God, this, there's just so much so much free money lurking around out there. No. Think about it. Your free money is VCs spent their money. Now, we know one thing about VCs. They're scum. 99.9% of them are subhuman filth trash. I will tell it to their face. They're subhuman filth. They sell on 2Xs. They have absolutely no care. They talk about 15-year visions, and then they'll sell on a 2X immediately. They'll watch a coin go up 30x, then their unlock comes after 99%. They go, oh, well, we're still up 13%. Let's get out. All of them will do that. They have bills to pay. They have people to feed. They care about the commission. They don't care about crypto. They don't care. Okay, they're here for the money. But that's all right. Okay, this is, you know, it's, they're mercenaries. But they, but we have every right to call them subhuman filth trash. Why do I say that? Okay, a lot of people, some people get upset. Not a lot of people. We all know. We all know the truth. Okay, that's why you like, subscribe, button, all friends. I'm here to look after you. I don't care about these VC trash, people walking around in collared suits who are shaved nice and clean and saying, oh, well, we're here for the future of crypto. No, you're not. Just shut up. All right, they're not here for anything. They're here for money. They're here for short-term money. They're basically just, they're traders, but they convince everybody to be a hodler while they dump. That's what they are. Okay, 99.9% .9 of them. Now, when it comes to the issue of this, it's never going to go away. So I just want you to know that I am here to empower you with knowledge. All right. So I'm not here. So, so don't misinterpret me. Let, let them stay. I'm not saying to kick them out. You can't do anything. It's a free open market. All right. But I'm here like just like they have every right to be scum. I have every right to inform you, make you friendlier, wiser, smarter. So airdrops are often farmed by a lot of there's Chinese farms, a lot of farms out there. They it's crazy. Chinese and Indian farms. So basically what they do is they'll just get a cafe or just get a warehouse. I'm not joking. They'll just they'll hire a lot of people and they'll just click around all day. And this is what they used to do. Now the money's, I think, starting to go down. Now they're just making bots. People have just hired a developer and the developer will code actions into all these different addresses and they spend all their time trying to, trying to hide the fact that it's just one person. So, but here's the, here's the analytics, right? So before even... We get to the start, the, the stage of like, oh, airdrops, are they coming or not for different different projects, the, the biggest ones. All the June al analytics. So June is a website, collects like, you know, uh, has a lot of uh, database information for different crypto projects. You can find out like daily users, volume, a lot of all the nitty gritty, the data for a lot of crypto ether scan stuff. All right. Now, airdrops, it's now confirmed after every airdrop, they literally do nothing. They do nothing for branding. They do nothing for marketing. They do nothing for awareness. Now, of course, what are we, what's we ever going to do? As soon as I say this, some people are going to say, oh my gosh, you know, the Uniswap airdrop was great or this airdrop was great. Yeah, you're talking about one or two projects. There are what, like 50,000 in crypto now? So they were the, they had the first mover advantage. You know, if someone makes another airdrop from now, we're still going to be thinking about the Uniswap one because that was the first big one. But we're not going to be thinking about anything else after that. Their effectiveness is gone. So you're just literally giving them money away. Now, by the way, the, when I said 100% of people dump, some people thought I was guessing. No, no, no. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They actually did. There's a June, there's a, there was a June post. I wish I could find it. Have you heard of a unicorn, little coin called Uniswap? Okay. Uniswap, Uniswap actually, they, they matched Uniswap's chart to airdrop accounts which is actually fascinating. And guess what? This is the crazy part, okay? Literally, by the time I think we hit around around, around here, okay, 100% of all the airdrops, gone. Gone. Everyone sold everything. No one held anything. Gone. You just gave away money. Isn't that crazy? No one even added? Damn, man, that's crazy. Uh, it, it, I'm not joking. It was, it was huge. It was freaking, freaking huge. Now, don't go find me those one or two addresses. Oh, wow, this person never dumped. I don't care. Literally, everyone got rid of it. Everyone. And this is Uniswap. This is Uniswap. The unicorn. Yeah, it's fake DeFi Uniswap. And yeah, it's a useless governance token. But guess what? Doge is just a useless meme coin. Ship's just a useless meme coin. Everything's just useless. Bitcoin's a useless store of value. You can't do anything with it except hold and hope that the price goes up. That's all of crypto. 
right? And you know, what's Tesla? Tesla is just a useless stock where you just hope that its price goes up too. Everything's just a useless thing, right? We get that point. But 100% gone. They, they literally dump everything. And they, they, they looked at different coins as well. I think DYDX, others. Everything gone, friends. Everything. So the experiment's been done now over and over and over again. Complete failure. Waste of money. No point to do it. So as I explained to you, that's what everybody does. Everyone gets the coins. They dump them in. They dump it on the decks, and they extract the VC money of the USDC. So it is what it is, man. Now, now you know you give you give money away. People people dump it. That's it, <laughs> straight away. There is no loyalty. So that's what people were hoping. So you know, not to be too crude and harsh, people were hoping that well, there would be a sense of loyalty that would develop and a sense of stickiness, but it did not happen. So how can you use this information? Well, in the next bull market. Okay, as we heat up, friends, as we heat up, people are going to be telling you, and by the way, I've already seen this. People will say, if you don't have a lot of money, you got to farm airdrops. That's the only way to make it. Look, I don't know how much time you have to wasting on a potential airdrop because the sad part about airdrops is you don't know when they're going to get given to you. And what, like, you know what they do, friends? All these airdrops, guess what they got done? They got given here. At the very end of the bull market. Imagine you're farming, 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 farm, 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 and then at the very end, you miss like 18 different old seasons. Okay, you get one airdrop for a thousand dollars. Congratulations. And then you got to exit anyway. And you're not going to believe it's an exit. You think you're just getting started, by the way. You know? So that's just the reality of the situation. So when it comes to airdrops, I don't think it's worth anyone's time to do it. There are professionals doing it. I hope they all get caught for sibling. They will. They will. You know how I already know this? Let me tell you right now. You probably wonder, like, how do they actually do it? Well, you know, there's a, there's an exchange called BitGet. BitGet doesn't do KYC. BitGet, it's for 50 grand, I think, max. And BitGet lets you have about 50 or 100 addresses on there. So this is what all the farmers do. They make an account. They make 50 to 100 sub-accounts on BitGet, and they use that to move money out. So... Think about this. If, if I was doing an airdrop, you know what I would do? I'd go to BitGet and I would lower any anyone that ever communicated with BitGet, I would drop the airdrop by minus 95%. So instead of their like 10 grand, you're like, congratulations, you got 250 bucks, whatever it is, right? You got like $500 or $250. Yeah, congratulations on your airdrop, you know? And, you know, they're going to be very salty. They're like, what do you mean? I was meant to get 10 grand. You make them look like an idiot. Who are they going to go complain to? You are giving for free money. And then they're going to have to admit, oh, my God, yeah, I made a farm and I had hundreds of thousands of people doing it. It is what it is because they're just going to dump it anyway. They're just clicking buttons. It's fake engagement. That's why it's super important. Look at the We look at the real volume. That's why I always, for example, look at Pulse Chain and I'll compare to Soylana, right? Soylana is like the most talked about coin on crypto Twitter. It did $5.7 million of volume. Pulse Chain did $14.9 million. This is not even, Pulse Chain's not even listed anywhere. We got delisted and we're doing triple the volume of Soylana. See, aren't you glad you got a friend who actually does? I did the hard work for you. I will continue to do the hard work for you. I work for the people. I'm a man of the people. Also, I'm your friend. Tell mom and dad I am your friend. Tell mom and dad, please don't bother farming airdrops. Work a job, increase your hours, focus on what you can actually do. And then when the narratives come in 2024, hopefully... We're going to get a Ponzi season we can take advantage of. Catch you in the next one.